Hey, what's going on? This is OP from Serato, and today I'm gonna show you how and why you should use beat grids inside of Serato Studio. Beat grids are super important as they help you keep all of your samples locked in together when you're making beats, remixes, and mashups. Let's check it out. Beat grids are a series of markers that point to the location of beats within the track or sample. If you're a DJ, you might be familiar with editing beat grids as they're crucial for mixing functions like accurate BPM detection and sync. Essentially, accurate beat grids will allow you to correctly sync your samples and keep everything in time. When you analyze songs from the Serato DJ Library tab inside of Serato Studio, they will also show up as analyzed inside of Serato DJ Pro as they share the same library. Songs and long form samples are broken up into bars. A bar is a count of four beats. In a bar, you will see that there are four grid markers, one for every beat. When the grid is set, the first down beat in the song will have a grid anchor marker, which will set the BPM from that point. Grids are especially useful for using sync to keep the song and samples aligned with the project BPM. If the grid is not correct, then the song or the sample will fall out of time with the project BPM, causing everything to sound jumbled or offbeat. Grids are also useful for using quantize when setting and editing cue points, as the cue points will lock into the grid on the beat. As well, grids are also very useful for long sections of audio, like an acapella or songs that are being made into DJ edits. When the grids are correct, they'll keep the audio locked in time with other sounds, like your drums. Sometimes beat grids can be incorrect when dealing with songs that have fluctuating tempos or drastic BPM transitions. You might notice this with songs that are recorded by live bands. If this is the case with the song that you're working with, you may need to set multiple grids throughout the audio in places where the BPM fluctuates. I'm going to add correct beat grids throughout the song to make sure that it stays on time and on beat. When pressing grid, parameters appear that will allow you to make the adjustments. The freeze button will allow you to play the audio while freezing the forward movement of the audio based on the initial placement of the playhead. In the off chance that you analyze a song and the grid is completely wrong, then you can use the tap feature to tap the button in time with the audio file to set the quantized grid. Generally, tapping four times in time with the beat will fix the grid. The BPM can be adjusted with the BPM parameter. The half and times two can half or double time the BPM. Set grid start will set a quantized beat grid from the playhead position. Adjust will stretch or contract the beat grid to match the audio file's BPM. Using shift while clicking adjust will move the grid in larger increments. Slip will move the whole grid left or right. This is useful if the tempo is correct but the grid is off. Using shift while clicking slip will move the grid in larger increments. Set will set the tempo marker at the playhead position to define where the bar starts. Clear will clear the tempo marker nearest the playhead. Clear all will clear all tempo markers in the current beat grid. Save will save changes to the audio file's beat grid. Cancel will discard changes and exit the grid's edit mode. Fixing wrongly set beat grids is easy. Oh, no, 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 no. If a song or sample has audio without an immediate starting downbeat, but the analyzed beat grid does not start on the downbeat, you can easily fix it. Move the cursor to the downbeat in the song and then press set grid start to fix the grid. If a quantized track has an analyzed beat grid, but as it plays the grid falls at a time, then you can use the adjust buttons to adjust the beat grid to match the audio file's BPM. If you have a song or sample that changes BPM, you can set a second grid at the downbeat where the beat grid changes. BPM changes can be gradual or drastic. So that's a quick overview on beat grids inside of Serato Studio. This will keep all your samples locked in on time. Get busy making beats, DJ edits, and mashups. And for more information on Serato Studio, head over to serato.com.